you going to be? Oh. I don't mean let's start. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, doing 20 minutes That's and then a Q &A. 10 minutes of Q&A. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah, because yeah. I'm sure if there'll be quite a lot of yeah. questions. Good. Yeah, good. Hello. Yeah. I actually, yeah. I've just remembered that I actually forgot to tell you my website, but it's all over, it's all over there. IncreaseSocialReach.com. I can't see it. Yeah, this yeah. is I don't know where to put it. So um, today we're going to talk about the 12 worst practices in social media. Everybody talks about the best practices, but I like to be different, so I'm going, I'm going negative. <laughs> and hopefully, you know, you've got something to say. So um, imagine we're going to start with the end destination because what I do with my clients is always work on the objectives for the social media. So the first question I ask them is what do you want to achieve with social media, okay? And then work backwards, so do reverse engineer on their goals. So imagine today the, the des destination is me, so I'm your client. So you want me, you know, you want my money. <laughs> so what, um, what are the worst things that you could do um, that you know that you shouldn't do when you're trying to approach me as a prospect. Shout at you to buy my services. <laughs> <laughs> so I've put some I've put some roadmaps because I want this to be like a journey. Um, I love driving, and I think um, social media is like it's a a long road. You know, you have to plan to get to your objectives, and uh, who doesn't plan their trips, unless of course you go to the new forest one day and you just want to relax. <laughs> I don't you don't plan, okay. Um, but when we go on a trip, we always plan, we, you know, we, we, we uh, pack our bags, we, um, you know, know how much fuel we need to get there, because <laughs> um, otherwise other things will come in the way, okay. So, let's start. Oops. Let's start with number one. Who's got number one? Buying fake. Yep. So can you read it? What's number one? Uh, number one, buying fake likes and followers. Okay, so social media, um, it's not today, it's not like it used to be. Like it used to be, people were used to buy enormous lists, email lists, and then just send out, you know, um, emails asking them if they're interested in buying their products or services. Nowadays, it's got to be not about quantity, but about quality. Okay, and it's got to be about targeted followers. So you don't want a Facebook page or a Twitter account full of 10K followers that are not going to follow you, they're not going to engage with you. So um, that's why I said, you know, do not buy followers. Um, do proper, uh, set up a budget for your advertising and do proper targeted um, targeted advertising. So, do not enter that room. <laughs> Pressing the wrong button. So, who's got number two? This is a little car. It says delete negative comments. Yes, that's, that's um, a car that is just going to um, explode if you delete the comments. You know, um, I always say, acknowledge the comments, even if they're, neg if they're negative, because people, other, other fans, are looking at the pages and are looking at the answers and looking at the response that you have. So do not delete the comments, respond, Take it away from Facebook, send them an email address and say let's discuss this further and solve the situation. When the situation is sorted, put it back on Facebook and other people will see that you responded, you're dealing with it, you're effective and you're moving on. Through number three, it's a little bendy road. <laughs> Not keeping informed of current strategies. Yes, that's right. Um, so, uh, what what I'm always social media is always changing, okay? And um, the platforms are always changing. There's always something they're doing with it. Um, we all see it because it breaks down and we can't put our messages in. And, um, so what I'm saying is, 
keep yourself informed, keep yourself going to seminars, to conferences, networking, and um, and transmit that value that you receive. So what I what I do every year, I go to seminars, social media marketing related. I rub shoulders with social media marketers online, <laughs> not physically, <laughs> and. Um, I transmit that uh, by blog posts to my community. Um, I give my uh, my thoughts about it, um, and I also ask questions. So, you know, what you think of a certain strategy just come up. But um, there are different types of strategies that you can use: visual marketing strategy, mobile strategy is really really big at the moment because we got like almost 95% of people are on mobile all the time. So when you manage your social sites as well, you have to have a mobile strategy in place. And there's apps. There's apps for that, um, to do all that social media um, management. So if you want to know, you can come, you know, speak with me. Number four. Not having a social media plan in place. So yes, so th that's what I do as a social media strategist, is put a plan in place. Because if you don't have a plan in place and you hit that crossroads you know, um, in your business, you don't know where to go. You know, go left, go right. <laughs> and also, um, it, it, clear, it, it gives you clarity on where you're going. And you can put contingency plans in place in case something happens. So it's always um, good to have um, set your objectives from the start, start small. And when you're setting your, your objectives, an exercise that I do is work out what, strategy, what strategies need to be in place. A strategy is just a direction, and nobody should really spend a lot of time on it. Um, it's the tactics, it's the action that actually, you know, that should be more in depth. Um, and, okay, so that's, <laughs> that's it. I'm going to finish that again. <laughs> Number five. Not having trained staff. Okay, so th this is quite important because um, I, I see a lot of companies um, employing apprentices to do the social media management. Um, you need to be qualified, in my view, you need to be qualified to do management. Management just in itself, it's quite, um, it's quite crucial. You, ne you, know, you need to know what you're doing. So um, you need to invest in your business to train your staff if you have people that are scheduling, engaging, uh, posting for your brand. You really need to invest in your business. Um, so a social media management course is something that you would like to think about if you do have employers, uh, um, staff that do that sort of thing. Because um, I think that apprentices, okay, I love that, I love that they're starting and it's fine, we've all been there, we all started somewhere, but um, they're not experienced in certain things. And, to portray the, the image of your company. They really need to know your voice, need to understand your vision, your mission, and they need to, you know, they need to accept it, they need to see, to see the vision of your brand. So, um, yeah, invest in your stuff, that's what I'm saying. Number six. Six, firefighting through your daily tasks. Yes, um, this is something that I've seen many, many, many times before in, in corporate, um, is when you don't have uh, a strategic plan in place, all you're doing is firefighting. And that is not taking you anywhere. Um, your staff will not get motivated, you won't get motivated, uh, you need to micromanage your people, your contractors, your um, partners. So um, that's another thing that I don't like to happen is firefighting through our daily tasks. Um, yep. <laughs> Number seven. Narrow-minded. 
So yes, narrow-minded, and that's quite appropriate because um, some people do not listen. <laughs> um, and they're like funnel, they've got a funnel vision. Um, some businesses, I'm not saying anybody here, please. Uh, but I've seen it and I know one that it's like that funnel vision and that doesn't want to see outside of the box, around the box, on the top of the box, underneath the box. And that's what I'm trying to um, build awareness of that. You know, you've got to have a broad vision of where your business is going to go because just in case you know you're running along that road at 100 miles an hour and you know you have to make a, a sudden stop you have to see that car coming so you can do something so that's um my narrow minded bit don't do it <laughs> so listen yeah so just one one thing just listen to your customers because um by listening to your customers, you will know what they need, you will know what they want, and you are there to give it to them. And they will relate to it. So like, I put a post on, on something, um, a Twitter strategy, a Twitter, I can't say Twitter, never mind. Uh, a Twitter strategy or a Facebook strategy, and they go like, oh yeah, um, I never thought about that. And that's what, makes them come to you and ask you more questions and be interested in you and trust you and like you. Number eight. The bumpy. Somebody got... <laughs> got yeah. lost in... Oh, no, yes, uh, Where is it? So I just... Have yeah. you got number eight? <laughs> <laughs> so Pay not due care <laughs> and attention. <laughs> not so you know. your brand's reputation. <laughs> so yes, did you know you can actually hear what other people are talking about your brand? If you just set um, some um, keywords on Google Alerts, for example, you'll find out what they are talking about about your brand. Um, reviews. They are a series of, I use a tool that is called Hootsuite where I um, have keywords on social media marketing, social media strategy uh, and I monitor, I monitor it through that. I um, also engage through that, I do everything through that actually. Um, but you need to be listening to what people are saying about a brand. It's like having a passenger in your car and you are driving, but you're still listening to what they're saying about you, you know, what they're talking about, and you talk back. So you need to always be aware of that. Number nine. Can't automate engagement. Yeah, so that back up <laughs> sign. Um, you can't automate engagement. You can automate scheduling. You can schedule your posts in advance. So you can take an hour, two hours a week, and you schedule your posts for like, you know, the next month. You know, and if you're really, really good, you can do the whole quarter. Um, you can schedule that, because that's all like automated. But one thing you cannot do is automate engagement. People need to know that you're there, you're present, and you're replying to their needs. And just simply, you know, allocate like, if you can, half an hour a day for that engagement. Make it part of your business uh, strategy. Just half an hour a day or 50 minutes a day, whatever, like 50 minutes in the morning, 50 minutes in the late afternoon because people are on social at different times. And, and engage because you will be surprised that one day you'll have that message on your Facebook page and say, oh, well, I'd like to speak with you. And if you're not there, if you're not responding, if, you're not, if you don't have you know, a good response rate in there, they'll think, well, she's not really interested. You know, so, um, and you lose, you lose your, your client, a, a potential client. Number 10. Uh, ignoring bad reviews. <laughs> yes, so, um, 
ignoring bad reviews. Uh, again, um, you have reviews on Google, you have reviews on Facebook. Um, if you're a local business, you, got, you get the, the reviews on the side. Depending on what type of page you've got, you get reviews on the side. But you also you always get reviews. But even if it's somebody calling you and saying giving you a good review, um, like I said with the bed reviews, respond to that. But um, any reviews, what you can do as well with the reviews, it's do a screenshot or take the the review that they've um, that they've given you and put it in a in a graphic with your logo, with your website, and um, emphasize that in quotes, that review, you know, another happy customer. Bang. <laughs> um, and you can use tools like, I use a tool called Canva, canva.com. Um, there's a free account, I've got a pro account, I do graphics for other people as well. And there is another one which is pickmonkey.com, P-I-C monkey. Dot com that's free as well and you know there's loads and loads of places that you can get free um, kind of images online so if you want to know I can give you all that there's not a problem I use uh, free graphics which is a uh, pix uh, pixabay.com p-i-x-a-b-a-y.com there's, there's loads, so um, it doesn't have to be stock images, and you can do all sorts of things with Canva and PicMonkey. You can manipulate them, you can reverse them, etc. Um, and just, just splatter all over social. You know, schedule those, those graphics with those reviews. You know, Twitter, schedule them on Facebook, and then when you get the comment, you just engage with them. And thank you, oh, and also tag those. Specific person. So if it's a uh, if it's a business, you can tag by using the at signal on your page. You can use hashtags to increase uh, your reach as well. And um, yeah, <laughs> a bit passionate about it. <laughs> Number eleven. Uh, don't put unleaded into a diesel engine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. That's a bit awkward, didn't you? <laughs> So, one thing I get a lot um, from people I meet with, um, especially finance directors, they're always thinking, what is it for me, you know, what, what is social media going to, what role is social media going to give me? And over and over and over again, I say to them that ROI, ROI in social media is actually ROE, return on engagement. And um, so the ROI for your sales department is completely different from your social media department. Because social media relies on, um, you know, high engagement rates. The, the more engagement rates you have, the better it is for your page. You've got more reach, you um, have people engaging on a page, and that's what, you, you know, it's, it's about comments, it's about shares, not much about likes anymore. You know, likes does not really mean a lot to me. Uh, I prefer to have my page got 600 and something likes, um, but other pages got 10k and there's no engagement on it. It's like, you know, you're hearing crickets. So, um, need to put the fuel on it, um, on the ROI, R-O-E, uh, in the respect that every month um, you have a report that tells you exactly how is your page, how is your social media doing? So is it going up, is it going down? So you can actually see if it's going down, why is it going down? What happened this week that it's gone down? So what can we do to, to go up again? So that's another thing, um, have a, a monthly report uh, because that will give you the visibility of where your business is going and if it's going if it's going well, if it's going effectively, and bringing you uh, prospects, um, and of course you then convert it through your sales department. Number 12. Only use social media to advertise. Yes. Um, sorry, I, I do Facebook dance as well, but 
um, don't use social media just to advertise because um, there's so much more, there's so much more potential within social media. If you just, um, to begin with, because what I say to everybody, I say just start small and build it up. And to begin with, there is so much that you can do to increase the brand awareness of your company before you start um, putting money on advertising. Okay? Um, later on, when you have that uh, fan base built and those, custom those potential customers interested in your business, then yes, then have a strategic advertising campaign you know, to expand on your um, social media marketing. You said so many, I actually totally agree with that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so just, just quick, oh, advertising. No, I'm just going to agree as well. I mean, there's a place for advertising, there's a place for yeah. social engagement. I mean, I think, you know, even business builders, you know, if you look at the Facebook group, if it's just pitch after pitch after pitch, then you lose the conversation. Mm. You know, you wouldn't come to this room and just shout to buy, buy me, buy my services, and yet people seem to think that if it's on social media, that's okay. No, less than 20% of posts should be should be sales posts. Yeah. There's a lot of other ways to actually sell. 18.6%. <laughs> yeah, and, and there is, there is, um, <laughs> there is ways of actually um, creating that engagement. Ask questions. You know, have an A and a B picture. Um, imagine that you're researching something for your business, right? And you've got got two logos. I've got one, my logo, and another one. I said, what do you think? Do you do you like A or do you like B? Just you know, this is this is engagement. This is asking questions. Um, and even if it's controversial, I like to be a little bit controversial. <laughs> do you agree? Do you disagree? Yeah, I always disagree, <laughs> but I back it up. So, and if, when I agree, I agree, and I say I agree. But it's it's funny because every time I put something on it, there is always one that follows. But it's always needed one to start that question, one to start that conversation. To uh, otherwise, you're just talking to the walls. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, just quickly. Um, until we go to questions, just quickly, I've got my eight, um, my eight C's. Sorry, you can't see. So, um, and I've done a little traffic light system, as you know, the famous road signs. So, what to do, what not to do. In conversations, listen to your customers. And don't disagree with your customers because, um, you know, your customers are your best, your best friends. Connections. Have a plan in place. And I strategically put some little capital words there, I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> have a plan in place. And don't ignore customer complaints. Because then the connection is broken. <laughs> Community. Provide support. Free support. For a while. <laughs> and don't pretend to be what you are not. <coughs> Consumer, do be authentic because people want to know who you are. If you're portraying something else, that's not good. <laughs> and don't focus on just selling. Probably some of you will disagree, but. Don't just focus on selling. It will come. It will happen. I'm still waiting. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, just focus on the people. Control. Be an authority in your field. Now, what are you talking about? Show it and be an authority. And don't be disorganized. <laughs> because then the control will go out of the window and you'll be pulling your hair out. Um, creativity. Do follow your vision and uh, do, don't have an old fashioned thinking. Um, technology is developed, this is other times, 
you know, 1986 is not there anymore. For some of you, probably not. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, move with the times and, and, and have a broad mind about things. Collaboration. Build partnerships. My business model is um, based on building partnerships with others. And I've only discovered that back last November. So, you know, for example, partnerships with web designers, web developers, um, speak the same language because I've got some of the background, graphic designers, PRs, social media managers, you know, um, I can build a partnership with Susie because I don't want to manage the site, so I want to teach people how to manage the sites. So, and the last one, and the most important, I think, is content. I've got a whole module on my starter kit, social media starter kit about content. Um, and we go through co-create, curation, and create. Um, and the, the main, main thing about content is be consistent. You know, your fans are not on social at specific times. You know, some businesses, maybe brick and mortar, lunchtime, or, or manufacturing companies, for example, they go um, to their break at lunchtime and they're on Facebook. I know because I've been there. <laughs> and that's when they check the messages and stuff like that. But they're not always on at the same time. So what you could do, you can, um, I always say, post three times a day, morning, lunchtime, evening. Or morning, just around one o'clock in the evening. And then at the end of the month, at the end of the month, <coughs> have a look at your analytics and see when is the best time to post. And then you can leave that best time to post <coughs> to post your promoted posts. Content needs to be, needs to have the 80-20 row. The 80, which is um, informative, other blog posts, collaboration, partnerships with other people, and 20% of your own stuff. If people only see your stuff at social media, they're not interested. They're always like, they'll get um, invaded, you know? Uh, they feel like, oh my God, not again. You know, give me something more interesting to have a look. You know, talk to me. So, and don't, don't disregard engagement, basically. So content goes along with engagement. And um, <coughs> engagement, it's, it's very important. <laughs> it's, it's crucial. But that's it. So thank you very much for listening. We're going to Q&A. I just quickly want to, if you've got a pen and paper, so I quickly want to <coughs> show my website, increaseyoursocialreach.com forward slash call and what I've got at the moment is I've got slots on Mondays and Mondays only and it's only a few slots <coughs> to give uh, a people a 45 minute strategy lead call and we talk about what your needs are, have you set your goals, where do you want to go and uh, basically no, no pitching I'll do the pitching later. <laughs> no pitching, just talking and getting a bit more clear on where you want to go with social media marketing. So if you're interested, please do book uh, a call. Uh, I, the only thing I do, I'll send you a questionnaire, you fill it out so I know and assess and I know a bit more about what your business, um, where your business is going. So if anybody has any questions. First of all,